Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Voxel Tycoon. It's the Charlestown map. Now we've just uh, queued up our final uh, research to get to the wind screen. Now, uh, before we, uh, we do that, uh, we need to, uh, like before we complete that, we need to produce a whole bunch more stuff over here in our massive mega factory operation. Now that's going to require, we're going to need wood frame. So let's uh, start out with wood frames. Uh, so that's going to need a uh, factory. Now, that's going to be a carpentry. Maybe No, it's going to be a circular saw first. Uh, now I'm just going to plunk that down here so I can show you. We're going to need uh, planks to make the uh, the uh, wood to make the frames. So uh, we're also going to need a uh, carpentry. Now I just need, I'm just going to pop this down so that I can take a look. So we're going to need planks to make uh, a furniture or planks and iron parts, right, uh, to make a wood frame. And then we'll need a wood frame and uh, glass panes to make advanced wood frame, right? Then, if we look in on uh, a electronics assembler, we're going to need uh, wood frame and circuit boards to make radios. And we're going to need advanced wood frames and circuit boards to make televisions. And we're going to need all of that to do the research for, see, we need circuit boards, copper wire, televisions, and radios, right? So yeah, that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna start getting the wood, the, the wood frame stuff uh, operational. So the first thing we need is, uh, well, we're only going to need one input out of here, but I want to make sure. Okay, we got a dual input into the, into there, right? Um, okay, I'm going to adjust this a bit. Uh, I'm going to uh, do this, this, and then we're going to have our output to the factory coming here, right? So that'll be an input, good. That'll make sure that we can access the stuff from both warehouses there. Now, uh, we need planks, right? And uh, that we're gonna get from a saw operation, right? Um, but, we're going to need a carpentry as well. I'm just going to put that over here. Now we're going to need a reasonable number of these. So I'm going to grab the factory and I'm going to put a carpentry. Uh, I don't know. I'll put, put them over here. Uh, one, two, two. Three, four. Yeah, I'm going to put four because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two of them and feed them into the radio uh, production and two of them, which I'll do over here, I think. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do them somewhere and then two of them into the advanced uh, wood frame, right? Okay. Uh, I think I'll be doing the advanced wood frame probably over here. Yeah, uh, anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to grab the conveyors. That's what I need, conveyors. Uh, I'm going to do this and this and then get rid of these. Okay, and then these are going to be Okay, so this is going to be 
going to wood frame right now I'm going to uh, reverse these to inputs okay yep those are inputs now I'm gonna just chuck the sawmills on the inputs right so or the circular saws right no it's here circular saw so what I can do is uh, this yep that that is exactly what I'm gonna do and we're gonna make planks right and we get two planks for one log right so there we go we've got our circular saws and we just have to take this output and shove it through there so uh, I guess we need to grab conveyors and we'll do this right uh, you can go away uh, right okay and uh, conveyors okay well we'll do this and then this and then this oh what do you know I lined it up properly and then we'll uh, make sure that goes that way that goes in that goes in that goes in that goes in those are coming out okay okay so that uh, that should be enough to get uh, planks going into these right and then uh, then we just need to get uh, uh, what do we need? Uh, we need uh, iron uh, iron uh, parts, right? Uh, which, by the way, I can bring in through this side here. It'll be a little bit of a challenge, but I can do it. Uh, okay, so. First of all, I'm going to adjust the uh, terrain. Uh, right. Hmm. No, I didn't quite get that lined up the right way to make this work. Uh. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, do that slightly differently. Uh, right. So we'll... Uh, no. We'll come up like this and like this. No. Nope. Uh, come up like this and like this and like this. Yeah, that's not the perfect lineup, but it should work. Okay. Uh, then, because this needs, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to need this. That goes down. And we need this, 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 and this. Okay. Now we just need to get conveyors in. Uh, okay, we. Oh, come on. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. A tunnel. Tunnel. Okay, and then we go across here, tunnel, like that. Okay, that gets us our iron parts input. Okay, so I just need to make sure that is going the right way, that's going the right way, that's going the right way, that's going up, that's going up. 
Okay, now, what's the recipe? Two of those. One of those. Okay, yeah, that should be fine. Now, where am I going to get the iron parts? Well, I'm going to have to get that out of a smelter, right? Um, and that's going to come out of a press. Um, which, hmm, you know what, I'm going to do this differently. Okay. Right, okay, so I'm going to run several or a couple of presses here. Now, I'm going to get a uh, press up here, and I'm going to stick, I'm going to stick one here, and then we'll look here, and we get two iron parts from one bar, right? So... So if I put uh, a couple of presses here, I think two might be enough. I can try. Uh, I can try a uh, sec. Hmm. Yeah, I can try a, a, a third one or a fourth one if I need them. But eh, I'm just gonna do this. Uh, remember, this is just for the final uh, research, right? Okay. Okay, we do this, we do this. Yeah, okay. Now, this can come down here and here, right? This can go down here. No, I need to uh, I need to flatten that out first. So here, yeah, we can do this. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. Conveyors. Grab this. Go like this. And like this. And like this. Yeah. Okay. We can do that. That goes that way. That goes that way. That goes that way. Those are those are all going the right way. Okay. Now, I need iron bars to come into there. Um, I think perhaps I can grab those from over here. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, we have iron bars coming off of here, which I could just bring around, but... I can just uh, bring them across over here too. So I'm going to do this. Uh, and then I'm going to need to. Yeah, I'm going to need to drop it too. Yeah. Okay. We'll uh, go over here. And we'll drop it too there. And two there. Okay, uh, I think that lines up. Now we uh, grab this and come up to here and we go like this and then we go like this and then we come up to here where we do this. Nope. where we do this. Okay, now we uh, make sure those are going in. 
in in okay so that's going to uh, fill up that part so that should give us a complete um, production for the uh, whatchamacallits the uh, wood frames now we need circuit boards uh, now we've got a uh, warehouse with those so we'll uh, yeah we'll take a uh, conveyor output hmm no I need to get a uh, warehouse uh, warehouse and it needs to be in range I need two okay I need two warehouses here so I'll put uh, one here and one here okay this one will be for uh, radios this one will be for televisions okay now I'm gonna put the uh, assembler for the radios up over here so I need a factory and it's electronics assembler um, okay I'm gonna put it like this I'm just gonna put two of those right then I'm going to do something radical. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, absolutely radical. I'm going to take this into here. And I'm going to take this into here. Yeah, I know, right? Absolutely uh, radical. Now, this is going to be radios where is it uh, radios and this is going to be radios okay now I need the uh, these to uh, uh, go down okay and then it's going to come into here okay so uh, we'll uh, drop that uh, like this okay now I need a conveyor connector over here and that's gonna be an input and we need conveyors here and this is gonna come down no okay so that's the output and then we're gonna need a uh, conveyor connector output here and uh, that's gonna come up like that and that's gonna be in that's gonna be in 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 out okay so that should theoretically be getting a uh, production going on. Uh... Yep, there we go. It's getting production started. Right. Okay. So this is going to limit the production there that's fine now I need also uh, these to come around over here uh, okay so I'm gonna need more glass smelting right yeah uh, okay so we uh, 
we grab a uh, factory uh, glass furnace yeah uh, so we're gonna put one I think we just need two of these uh, what do we get we get, yeah we get a fair bit of glass panes out of this okay now we need a uh, uh, carpentry which will uh... yeah we'll do it that way okay and this is going to be advanced wood frame that's a one for one okay now if we uh, level that out and we do our uh, conveyor trick, right? Uh, so we can do this all the way up like this. Okay, now we clear that out. Good. Now, we just have the, uh, the inputs for uh, sand and... Uh, uh, glass and coal over here so we're going to do this uh, we're going to do this yeah that's gonna work better right so we come across like can't build there what do you mean you can't build there there we go Okay. And then this comes up that way, and this comes up like this, and like this. Yeah, okay. So that's going to be an input, and an input, and an input. Okay, and that's going to go that way. Good. Right? Yeah, I could have got those closer together, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, and then I'm going to need the these things. Which I am going to combine onto a single conveyor here, which is going to come up. Then it's going to come across to about here. Then it's going to come down and uh, do this and what do you know it's not too long uh, okay so that's going to be an input okay good yes that's uh that's getting some stuff operational there now uh the output here I'm going to put the uh, rest of the assembly operation over, well, I guess I could probably do it over here. Yeah, I think I probably can. Um, okay, so we, uh, we grab another factory, electronics assembler, uh, right. Okay, so if we do this over here, hmm, no, I think, I think I'll do it over here. Uh, okay, so we can do one, two, I think two of them is enough. That's going to be televisions. Oh, these take a lot of circuit boards. Yeah, televisions. Okay.
good. Now, we need the output from here, needs to get to an input over here. Uh, so, yeah, first of all, let's, uh, let's do this. Uh, get rid of that. We'll handle the output first. Okay, so that's going to be a conveyor and an input. Yeah, we'll put it there and do this. Okay, that's, uh, that's good. Now, we need to get the circuit board thingy over there. Actually, no, that should be the circuit board one. Okay, uh, conveyor connector uh, here. Yep, and then this goes down and then up, and then it comes up like this and this okay yeah that's probably better yeah okay and then we need an output from those uh okay so i'm gonna need to do uh Okay, uh, right, okay, so now that actually, uh, no, that, but no, what did I do? If I do this and uh, this, yeah, okay, I think that should be fine. Now we need the conveyors. Uh, this okay so that's going to be the oh that needs an input right uh, okay so now I'm going to need the uh, the outputs from here right needs to come in over here so I'm going to uh, think I can go over on that. So, so if I do this, No, if I do this, no, what? No, apparently you can't do that. Okay, so bridge over like that. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then that uh, can come in like that, good. And then this can come in like this, and this can come over like this, and like this. Okay, that should get everything. Okay, now I just need to get the input into here. Okay, so I'll need a conveyor input. Uh, yeah, I'll put it right here. Okay, and that's going to be an input, right? And then we come out of here so we can see it. We go down and we go down down and then we do this uh, 
yeah, we do this. Okay, now that's going to be out, out. Okay, I think this will theoretically get the final uh, production line uh, going. We have televisions coming out. Yes. Okay. So now that means uh, we have our final uh, assembly process going. It's going to take a while. But as you can see with this complex supply chain, the reason I set this up the way I did independently is so it doesn't cannibalize everything else on the network, right? So that we can continue earning the cash needed for the 103k per uh, research stage. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to up-tempo this, and then we can watch everything uh, happen. Uh, and you know what? Since this is the last step on the uh, windscreen, I'm just going to let this run up tempo until uh, until the the research completes. Because there's really nothing much to do here now, other than uh, you know let uh, all of the production catch up and everything, right? So as you can see, uh, the circuit boards uh, ran out, uh, but uh, once the uh, warehouse for televisions fills up, uh, the uh, circuit uh, the circuit board production will catch up, of course, and then uh, and then that warehouse will fill up, and then it'll get behind again, and uh, so on, right? Also, uh, the supply chain is going to run out of uh, inputs as well, and that's uh, obviously going to take uh, some uh, resources as well. But remember that this whole operation was only so that the uh, final uh, production stages for the uh, last research uh, could happen without causing any particular problems. Now I'm not sure. I might just uh, you know time lapse this uh, in the final video, uh, just because it's it's probably going to be pretty boring, right? Uh, but as you can see, uh, we do uh, you know it's it's we're up at six out of 150 already. Uh, so this is really just a waiting game, and as you can see, having these here isn't really, uh, these relatively limited inputs, isn't really any particular um, problem uh, for throughput, right? Uh, and, uh, you know, as, as you can see, if we uh, come down here, uh, we've got our uh, trains bringing supplies in uh, at uh, you know a reasonably sufficient rate, I would say, based on our production capacity, right? Now we're up to eight already, so uh, nine. Uh, I could uh, bring in more trains, but uh, you know, I, I don't see that it'll be particularly necessary, right? Uh, but this is basically your production chain for getting all of the uh, stuff you need for the uh, computing devices. Uh, our iron uh, mine is 50% uh, emptied out. Uh, that's fine, actually, because we're going to win the game before that uh, that finally clobbers us, right? Uh, but as you can see, the uh, the trains are uh, arriving back with uh, excess capacity. To restore the uh, the stuff, so so that's uh, 
uh, definitely, uh, yeah, I think one train each is probably fine. Uh, but this definitely does need supply by train, uh, and that's why I did it that way. Uh, anyway, uh, the, the general idea here is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to leave this map alone now I'm, I, uh, until the, uh, the game comes back with uh, an update. Uh, probably the uh, Steam uh, early access release. Uh, because then that's going to come with a whole bunch of new stuff. And having an established map may uh, work on that. It may not. I may need to start a new map to get the new features. But if an established map gets the new features, I may just uh, pick up on this one and do some uh, tinkering, right? Um you know, so we don't have to start all over again, right? You know, do a bunch of retrofits or whatever. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll start a new map and uh, take a different approach, uh, particularly if it's passengers that are coming, right? So we're 10% done already. And, uh, you know, I think if I just let this run, uh, the video might come up to about an hour. But it, uh, it should... Uh, ultimately uh, lead to, uh, you know, finishing the series off, right? Anyway, uh, so that means that next week there won't be an episode of Voxel Tycoon. And uh, that is, uh, uh, you know, because I'm going to leave the game alone until some more stuff can come along. And, uh, yeah. Because uh, there's not because if I did another game, it'd just be more of the same, right? So uh, that's really uh, that's really uh, where it stands. You know, it's uh, you know I I could do because there isn't a lot of high detailing or whatever in uh, this type of uh, game, right? It tends to be quite repetitive after a while, uh, and uh, yeah. So basically. Uh, uh, that means I'm looking for something else to take the time slot. And, uh, you know, I'm, I don't want to put, you know, another episode of Transport Fever 2 in there. I don't, I, I'm not going to put another episode of Surviving Mars in there. Uh, in fact, I suspect Surviving Mars is uh, headed for the wood chipper after this particular playthrough on it as well. Uh, and that, but that's got uh, some, got a fair number of episodes left, I think, before, uh, before it uh, runs out, before it gets to the point where it's obviously one. Now, uh, I could do another uh, episode of uh, uh, Soviet Republic, but, you know, I don't think that one is particularly good for more than once a week either. Uh, and that, uh, so that leaves, uh, that leaves some, uh, is a, a question, you know, on, uh, on just what, uh, what do I do? I, uh, is there, you know, another game I could pick up? You know, maybe, maybe I'll pick up Civilization VI again and, uh, uh maybe, uh, try something, uh, something there. Problem with that is it needs a lot of editing because it's quite boring if you go real time. Uh, so I'm going to have to like play out a game and uh, then edit the thing into episodes, right? And uh, that, um, you know, and add uh, commentary and everything. So, yeah, uh, I'm not sure I want to do that. Um uh, you know, and, and uh, you know, competing with the likes of Potato McWhiskey and uh, and those guys is uh, probably not worth doing, right? Uh, so I'm not sure. Uh, so if you have any suggestions on a game you want me to try, uh, you know, put them in the comments. Uh, you know, then, uh, you know, if it's a game that I can obtain and, or, you know, give a whirl at, you know, uh, great. Uh, ideally, if it has a Linux version, you know, there's that, but otherwise, um, you know, if it, if it runs well under Linux, even with, uh, Proton or something on Steam, that would be fine too, right? 
Uh, but if you have anything that you, you want me to take a stab at, uh, you know, leave a comment. Uh, maybe there's uh, something I don't know about uh, that has some sort of uh, gameplay potential or something. Uh, maybe not. Uh, hard to say. Um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's hard to say. There's a couple of games that I've tried out recently over the past couple weeks, and those are... Um, I don't think they're good for more than a one or two uh, two off, uh, video thing. Uh, so I might, uh, give, give one of, put a couple of, uh, uh, one or two fers, uh, in there. Uh, one of those is Islanders, which, uh, quite frankly, there isn't all that much to it, but, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it, it is what it is, you know, maybe just do a, a demo showcase of it. And then there's, um, uh, what what was it called? Um, uh, uh, I can't remember what it was called. Um, it's kind of a uh, basically you're a Greek uh, city state, and your goal is to uh, take over the world, basically unify the world, or at least the uh, uh the european world or something like that and uh that one i haven't quite worked worked it out yet so you know um that might be worth a couple of shots you know just to uh to demonstrate the uh the game and uh you can watch me lose the game on easy mode uh maybe uh, i might i might do because one of those uh, you can do a whole game in an hour or two so i might be able to uh i might be able to get a couple episodes out of that so maybe i've got something until the end of the year but otherwise i'm looking guys is there something else you want to see uh leave a comment uh, if it's something like a uh, voxel tycoon or uh, some or a civilization or city builder great uh, if not yeah maybe uh, i will say i don't do first person shooters uh, i don't do real time strategy uh, so that's uh, so that's that uh, and i don't think i can bring anything particularly engaging to something like train simulator so uh, you know, I don't think that's, uh, that's particularly, uh, helpful. I mean, like uh, things like train simulator are boring, right? To watch. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, there's, uh, there's something, uh, you know, find something else to fill in. I might also just drop back to four videos a week. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, but you know, it's, keep uh, I'll keep my eye out for something uh, maybe I can uh, you know grab something uh, maybe I'll tool around itch and uh, steam and maybe GOG and see what I can dig up maybe I'll dig up some retro stuff yeah hard to say anyway uh, yeah we're up to uh, 40 42 out of 150 so yeah I'm going to definitely just let this this uh, play out uh, meanwhile, let's go take a look at the rest of the map. So here's uh, Charlestown. Um, let's actually just take a look at our headquarters. Uh, we have a 58 million value for our company. And uh, we'd need 85 million to get up to the next level. We could easily get there if we started delivering goods to, uh, to the towns. But as you can see here, uh, Charlestown here has kind of grown into Oklahoma City, into a sort of uh, uh, conurbation thing. Uh, it, you know, uh, Oskaloosa could be joining into these ones if it was uh, uh, had more uh, stuff being uh, delivered. Um, and then down over here, uh, these guys haven't grown together. Uh, uh, but I could definitely have caused that to happen. Uh, we've got uh, Homa here. Hauma or Homa. 
uh, which is doing its thing. Truth or Consequences is doing okay. Uh, now I might um, I might do some uh, stuff on here where I uh, uh, do some st a bunch of stuff off screen and uh, come back to the uh, the map uh, and then just show you uh, where I'm at. Uh, or uh, specific projects on the uh, the map, uh, but that's going to require uh, playing uh, pretty hard uh, off screen uh, to get things to the point where it uh, where we uh, we end up with something you know that's kind of worth watching. Uh, it might be actually be worth doing that at some point uh, with one of these games. Uh, just to show the, uh, okay, you've won, now what uh, gameplay? Uh, or one option for that, right? Uh, you know, that's a, that's a possibility. Uh, let me know what you think about that. Uh, I don't think it's particularly engaging, but, you know, what do you think? I think really, though, uh, getting to the point where we have... Uh, uh, level crossings for rail and road and a, a few things like that uh, and better bridges uh, easier to place bridges and so on that's when that kind of thing will probably be a little bit more engaging right uh, but still uh, I'm not uh, I, I, I don't see much coming out of that right so uh, that's why I'm uh, suggesting uh you know saying like hey do you have any ideas for another game uh actually i just had one uh i might actually dig up uh free call uh which is a colonization clone and then we can take a, a whack at that that's kind of like civilization so uh there's probably some uh gameplay uh, elements there that could be somewhat engaging and that one is eminently possible to lose uh, early on so yeah uh, that might be worth doing actually I think maybe I found my next game uh, free call I'll have to see if I can get the current version working uh, and see if there's any major bugs in it that would pre preclude that with the current uh, uh, development release uh, yeah I maybe that's that's what I'll do uh, that one uh, that one does run on Linux it's Java so uh, it, it should work. Uh, so yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll uh, do at least a few episodes of free call, um, in, uh, in, uh, uh, it, you know, uh, in this time slot. So yeah, I think that'll be the next one free call. But again, if you have any suggestions for something else, let me know. Uh, you know, I'm always interested in finding something else to uh, to to play. Right, uh, playing the same games over and over again does get boring, right? And, you know, and I kind of don't want to end up being, you know, finding some sort of a niche like um, like Biffa and his uh, traffic fixes. <laughs> you know, uh, you know that could <laughs> that would be uh, tedious, right? Uh, so, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, don't bother suggesting uh, City Skylines. I suck mostly at the game, and it crashes regularly on my computer. So, uh, and it's been getting less stable with every update they've made. So, uh, yeah, uh, that one, that's a non-starter. Uh, right, okay, we're at uh, 60 of 150, so that's... Uh, uh, 40%. Uh, so yeah. Um, right. Well, it looks like, uh, this is going to run probably for another 40 minutes, uh, before it, uh, completes. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to, uh, time lapse it here. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, and, uh, 
and then we'll see uh, I'll definitely be back when the windscreen pops up so uh, yeah uh, I'm going to silence the microphone now and uh, and then we'll uh, uh, we'll uh, uh, go from uh, from there so I'll be back in a bit. Hey everybody, uh, I'm back now. Uh, we've just got two more levels on the uh, research to complete. Uh, the 149 is just completing now. And I'm going to try and uh, drop the uh, uh, speed here when it... There we go. And we're ticking up the circuit boards we need for the last step of the research. So, yeah, so that took, uh, from the uh, point where I launched the, uh, where I, oh, this whole operation got launched, I'm wafting my hand at the screen here, uh, the uh, whole operation got uh, launched, uh, it uh, took about 45 minutes on max speed. Here we go. There's... Uh, 150 of 150 for computing devices uh, working its way through. And then we'll be uh, basically done. Uh, so the windscreen should pop up. I, there is a windscreen, as I recall, anyway. Uh, and uh, here we go. And there we are. 
uh, we have uh, won the game, uh, or at least we've reached the final objective. Uh, that's 19 and a half hours playtime, uh, most of which you have seen on this series. Uh, there are other research uh, items uh, that can be researched uh, for other purposes. Uh, and there is a fair bit of uh, gameplay that could be done uh, still. I could, uh, I could go ahead and... Uh, uh, you know, complete the rest of the research. I could, uh, I could work on uh, connecting up the towns. I could do some landscaping, make the roads work better, all sorts of stuff like that. And I could uh, aim for a massive conurbation spanning regions. I could bring in new resources to the uh, deposits that are running out. Uh, there's a whole lot of stuff that I could do. But I'm not going to, at least on camera. Uh, but anyway, uh, we've got the uh, we we've there's the win, uh, and the, there you go. Uh, there that's a, a complete game from initial uh, uh, the initial uh, setup uh, to the final uh, objective win screen. So. I'm just going to uh, clear the windscreen. I'm going to pause the game. I'm going to clear this. And uh, just do this to clear the blinker. Right. Okay. Uh, and that is, that's it for the Charlestown uh, map here. Uh, save for some potential uh, future uh, projects or something like that that I might show. Anyway. Uh, it's been a ride. Uh, we've been at this for, I forget how many episodes at this point. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, well, it's been, been quite a long ride. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you, if there's any other game you want me to, uh, play, I'm not going to start another Voxel Tycoon game right away here. So... If there's anything else you want me to play, uh, leave a comment below. Uh, otherwise, uh, unless I change my mind uh, before next week, I'll be back in this same time slot with uh, probably Free Call, so which is a colonization clone. So uh, that's going to be all for this series, I guess. So stay healthy. Uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. And see you back with some other game uh, next week.